Welcome back guys. If this pandemic has got you worried and you're wondering, how am I gonna feed my family? What do I need to stock up on? Stay tuned, I got you covered. All right, again, these um, are not refrigerated or freezer foods, just because what if the power does go out? You have to think. Um, sugar is cheap oh. and effective. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, grits, because I am from the South. Oatmeal is always really good. And these last months, um, we saw one water. We actually have two more of these packs. So we did buy up some, but we did not hoard that. That is very important. Um, make sure you have tea, because again, I'm in the South. I can't live without it. It's my Southern wine. Do you like to say something? No? Okay. Um, this is not all I have again but mixes all i have to do is add milk to these um snacks speaking of snacks look Whoa. at the chips yeah that's not even all of them <laughs> so cheeses for dips anything like that this you can actually half or quarter and make multiples peanut butter good protein it does have some sugar in it but it's got good protein and it fills you up for a long period of time Pickles because, do they ever expire to be quite honest? No, I don't think so. Um, things like this, hamburger helper, like rice pasta, things like that. Pasta is very good because it's also like rice, which I have over here. Um, I have two boxes of that um, just because it can be a filler as well. That way, um, if you're trying to kind of portion out your meat and stuff, you can add more rice and more pasta and it fills it up. Sorry, I have a little helper here. Um, you play tortillas, you can make enchiladas, tortillas, you can make bean burritos, anything like that. These things last for months. And also canned foods. These actually are on sale 88 cents when they're normally over a dollar. Um, mix soups, canned meat, anything like that. I even have a little bit of chili. Um, you can make that and with a dip. You can have hot dogs. Okay. Millie, you want some of that? Um, my honey cups. And again, by off brand, you do not have to buy the name brand. Um, some crackers, cereals. We are very full on those as well. And see, this is all my cans and extra sauces, but also. <laughs> I also have these bags right here are completely full of cans, but also, like I said, do not hoard. Be sensible about your actions. Um, these are actually being put up in another closet because, as you see, I have no never. Um, that was all we have of like the cabinet stuff. Um, but make sure your freezer's full. Um, we don't have an extra freezer, um, but our freezer for our refrigerator is actually full. It's full of meat, like hamburger meat. There's chicken. There's bacon, hot dogs, anything that you eat, because if you're, you know, vegan or vegetarian, of course, you're not going to fill up on meats, but make sure your freezer's full, make sure your refrigerator's full, anything that you can get, it's good to have, just make sure you have enough for two or three weeks, it's just good to have enough for at least two to three weeks um, of cooking or staying at home, um, and don't buy anything that you wouldn't normally eat, because if this isn't really anything that's going to have you quarantined, um, for the government or even if you still have to go to work just make sure that you don't buy anything that you wouldn't normally eat because you're going to be left with this maybe <laughs> and you don't want anything in your cabinet or fridge that you're not going to eat it's a waste of time a waste of money um do go dollar stores do go to like aldi or lidl any of those places nothing has to be name brand anything that you actually eat normally just stock up um your fridge and freezer can only be so full so if you do have an extra like box freezer or chest freezer those are great um, you can stock up on more if you are limited on funds just make sure you can go to a food pantry just google one I'm sure there's one right down the road from you guys or reach out there's a lot of people on Facebook saying if you need help in any way to reach out to them and they'll anonym you know anonymously obviously give you some help with no judgment um, I'm even one of them um, and I think my whole family is doing it as well but just be mindful. Um, we didn't buy up on Lysol and all that stuff because we do already have some in the house. We have enough toilet paper, but there are scarcities out there. 
So just be mindful. Um, there are people that really need some of this stuff that do not have it. So you don't want to be hoarder and be disrespectful in that sense. But just make sure you have enough of stuff you actually eat. Make sure you can afford it. But make sure you're healthy, wash your hands, and just be safe. See you next time.